you join Team Town and Country this month in Pocono. Victoria, tell them a bit more about Pocono. Well, Pocono is really well known for the two competing ice cream shops. And they really created such a competition. It became like a cult following. Even when we lived up in the city, I used to love coming down here and couldn't decide which one to choose from. No, I, I have to say she didn't. <laughs> this is the fastest growing town in North Waikato. 53 kilometers southeast of Auckland, 72 kilometers north of Hamilton, nine kilometers from Tuakau, and five kilometers from Mercer. So Pocono is actually just at the crossroads to head west on State Highway 2 to the Coromandel. Pocono, which means the place of refuge. It's quickly become the safe haven for people escaping from the city to come out here and spend time with their friends and family. The Countdown Supermarket behind me opened in 2021 and it's quickly become an asset in this community. And more importantly, when we were locked down in, in, uh, with COVID, this actually became the place that we actually were able to go to for those of us who lived in the North Waikato because we couldn't go to Pukekohe anymore. So we're standing here in the Pocono Market. So on Sunday, this is normally packed, but we're hiding from the rain because we're hoping it's the last rain before the summer finally arrives. So Joanne, why don't you tell us some stats of what's been going on in the market? So the medium house price for the month of October, excluding sections, dropped by 7.5% from 892 to $825,000. The medium sale price across New Zealand, excluding Auckland, decreased 3.4% from 750,000 to 725,000. Auckland's medium house price dropped 12.7% from 1,249,000 to 1,090,000 for the same period. So we have seen consecutively over the last six months house prices decreasing, which is the first time since August 2008. The biggest percentage decreases in terms of value were actually seen in the North Shore at 18.2% and in Papakura at 17.3%. Several compounding factors have created uncertainty and hesitancy for buyers in the current market, compared to last year when they were confident and urgent to buy property. The compounding factors that have actually affected the uncertainty have been interest rate rises, the cost of living, changes in taxation legislation, changes to the property legislation and actually some global effects such as the war in the Ukraine. So we've seen a noticeable increase in first home buyers in the market, as well as an increase in inquiries across Auckland. For the month of October, the volume sold year on year decreased from 7,456 houses last year to 4,892, a decrease of 34.7% year on year. It was also down from the month of September by 4.3%. The biggest annual percentage decrease seen in sales we're seen in the Tasman at 45%, Southland at 40.9%, Northland at 39.1% and Auckland were down 42.2%. The medium days to sale are up to 44 days nationally, which is 10 days more than this time last year. The number of houses available for sale at the end of October rose to 26,000 nationally. It's actually up from the 15,000 that were available this time last year. So that means there's more houses on the market, more listings, and people are taking more time when making their purchasing decision. It's the biggest expense people are going to make in their lifetime, so they want to make sure. So now we've given you the market update. It's time for an ice cream, even though it's raining. So Team Town & Country, bring you the best of Town & Country. We'll see you at an open home soon.